So, we're gonna talk about some Reddit questions, you know. Maybe someday it kind of is actually sensical to go through some <laughs> Reddit things. Um, especially when I'm just naming the episodes always the same thing, like Reddit something. And, and every single time there's just nobody that gives a fuck about them. But they're actually not that bad, to be honest. Um, really not that bad. Of course, maybe not that valuable as other things, but you know, we're gonna see what this episode's gonna be all about. I am no longer on call 24 seven. Did you know that you can ignore people? Because that is a new thing for me. Did you know you can say, no, I'm busy right now, verbally and or energetically, because I didn't know that either. I guess it all comes down to setting healthy boundaries, which I never had before recently. I used to always answer my phone, even with inconvenience, always answer, an email as fast as possible, always text back right away, all because I thought I had to. Other people's time were more important than my own in my head. I always had some fear if I didn't answer immediately, something would be terribly wrong. Before my dad passed away, I was always afraid to get a phone call from my mom because who knew what would it be. But I survived getting a phone call that I had to get down to Florida because my dad was dying and I survived his death. I was always, I, I always answered her every day call which by the way in this sense it is amazing if you could just clearly know that there might be something wrong or that um that it is important then you should at least at my point of view and this is also something that i think about um make sure that you can answer and you can reply and you can just take this phone call as fast as possible whether it is convenient or not i think isn't that important then but i mean if it is a if it is about something that you really care about, if it is something that really means something to you, then um, it's also not going to be that of a big deal for you, first of all. But um, but yeah, you know, but you don't have to be available to or for everyone 24-7. I, I try to actually, you know, my phone is always there. I'm always having my phone besides me. Um, most often it is charged. Sometimes it is not, which is something that I don't particularly like. But if there's something really important, like people can always in some way contact me. However, through email, through whatever, you can always fucking contact me. Always. Always, always, always. Whether it is just phone call, whether it is WhatsApp, whether it is Snapchat, whether it is just some other social media thing, I'm always gonna see that. Quite. You know? So I think just 80%. To 80% I'm gonna see that. And for me it is very important, but I also understand that you have to have certain boundaries. You know, you can't reply to everyone's text, to everyone's email, just uh, right ahead. Here's how you have been trained to procrastinate your whole life. No, I'm not gonna, even though it is actually upvoted quite a lot. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. So you know that discipline is critical for, for success in any given field. Uh, what a great body, question mark. You need discipline. Uh, want to create amazing art? You need discipline. Want a great, uh, want a great business? Discipline. We all know and understand this, right? Well, if that's the case, why do the vast majority of people can People cave in to the resistance they feel when they have to put in the work. Why do most people procrastinate their life away? I asked myself this back when I procrastinate, when procrastination was destroying my life, back when I couldn't force myself to work on my personal dreams, and instead I would end up playing video games all day, escaping and avoiding my reality. After years of research and studying discipline, I realized that we are literally trained to procrastinate. Let me elaborate. Uh, starts very interestingly. Thing is, if people say like, you know, I've been studying this for years, then I always have to just back up a little tiny bit. Um, anyway, we're going to have a look at it. The first point. The first thing you need to realize is that we that the world does not want more self-disciplined people. I know this sounds like a consp cons conspiracy, I'm sorry, conspiracy theory, but please hear me out. Usually speaking, self-disciplined people are leaders and bosses. They don't depend on it and other people or other people to put in the work. They are self-reliant in that sense. So if everyone suddenly became self-disciplined, who would the leaders lead? Well, you know, there's always going to be like people that are more disciplined and less disciplined and stuff like that. Even though I don't necessarily think that discipline makes somebody a leader. Well, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe it's just the word discipline. But I think, yeah, you have to put in the work. Whether this has something to do with discipline or whether this has something to do with... Uh, consistency? I don't know. It would actually kind of be the same. So who would the bosses suddenly became... S what? Uh, who would the bosses hire? Our society functions with the mass majority of people being just disciplined enough to perform average jobs and life and live average lives. It all starts with our school system. You learn to sit down for six to eight hours and follow orders. 
If you don't follow orders, you get punished. You're only taught to do the bare minimum that will get you by, and that's it. No, that's not what you get taught. Not really. No, not necessarily. I mean, this is something you can focus on. But but if you want to get just an A in every single fucking subject, then you have to fucking work for that. If you want to or not, you have to. So I, I, I do get what he's referring to, because of course, you know, teachers want to get you through. I know they don't want you to just repeat class, some shit. And, um, but this has nothing to do with the bare minimum, I think. Why would you push yourself to do more if you don't get anything valuable out of it? I mean, you get better grades. No one teaches you how to be a boss for your own self. No one cares if you're self-disciplined or not. The only person that does or should care is you. So don't expect encouragement or help from other people if you want to work on your dreams because they won't care and in some cases they will even feel threatened by your improvement. Have you ever tried to make an improvement and felt like the people around you start acting weird? Maybe you've been criticized or even insulted for trying to step up. They are subconsciously trying to sabotage you and the reason is simple. You become a bright neon sign that says they are beating resistance and procrastination, they are improving themselves. Why aren't you? This is a direct threat to some people and it is easier for them to try to bring you down instead of rising up themselves. The closer the people are to you, the more noticeable it will be. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to piss on every person. You know, some people are going to be like, wow, I fucking appreciate that. I don't know. The second point. Aside from that, we also get a lot of information when we take a look at our history as a species. We grew up in a very hostile environment where we lived in constant danger. Energy as a resource was precious and couldn't uh, couldn't be wasted because wasting energy left you vulnerable to a lot of things trying to eat you. Your only motivation for thousands of years was to stay alive and since doing less than we need to, needed to do was a great way to, to save energy and survive, that's how we evolved. Fast forward a couple of million years and suddenly the world is a much safer place. You don't have to waste nearly as much energy as, you, as your ancestors did. Your lizard brain is happy. Mm, not always, but most often. It is very... It's every animal's dream, but guess what? We are not just animals, we are humans. We want to make art, travel, start new projects, quit self-destructing habits, get out of the comfort zone and take risks. So even if your lizard brain is happy when you just eat, sleep and deficit all day, you're not. Uh, we have evolved in many years as species, but unfortunately for us, our DNA hasn't really had time to fully catch up. We can't see uh, why building self-discipline is tough. It requires a lot of energy to build new habits, for example. This contradicts that drive to perceive or preserve energy, at least at first, because the goal is to eventually automate your positive habits so that you don't spend more energy than what you need, which is totally the case. You know, in the fur, well, it, it depends on whatever you're thinking about. If it is about just doing sports and about working out, then you're gonna just really use a lot of energy every single time. But this is the point of doing this, you know? Um, because, you know, you can't build something. You only can just use energy to transform it into something else, into muscle, into whatever, business. I don't know. I don't give a shit. But the thing is, I did like the first point. Like, you know, we have always been kind of living in this certain place of, um, you know, we, we have to really be just sure that we don't waste energy because we're not having unlimited energy and all these things. I really appreciate that and I really think it is a good thought, an amazing thought indeed. Um, on the other hand, yes, of course, you know, if you're just only eating, sleeping, uh, reproducting and, and stuff like that, then, then you're not necessarily going to be happy because you also want to do something else. Um, and yeah, that's quite it. This is what I like and this is what I also believe in. The third one. Another thing to consider is that finding and learning the skills that will make you more disciplined person is really hard. Why? Well, as I said before, most people are simply not self-disciplined. How can you learn a skill from someone who doesn't have it? Well, this, this doesn't mean that you can't... I mean, there's going to be people that might not be that disciplined, but are still just really fucking good because they are talented. Naturally talented. Well, anyway, how can you learn a skill from someone who doesn't have it? I know it is really hard to find information that actually works in a sea of productivity apps and crappy advice. This is why I decided to start this project. This is why I do what I do. And I really hope that I'm able to have an impact on your inspire, uh, on you and inspire you to create more art or to build an amazing business or to just follow your heart. I can't think of a more fulfilling job than this one. The thing is, uh, something that I don't like in general is people being like, you know, you can't build a business. You can't do that. And get the da 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 da. I don't know. There's trillions, well, not trillions, but billions of people that just 
Probably. Probably. I'm not sure about the numbers that just don't want to have a business. Not because they, they can't do that. Not because they're just too dumb or too too poor or too whatever, but because they want to have this, this corporate job. You know, they want to have just, they don't want to have more. And they're really happy with their corporate job making 100k a year, having a pretty good life. I don't know. Not everybody has to have a business. Why? You know, if it is not something that really makes you happy, why should you be doing this? Um, but coming back to the point, like, just because somebody is not disciplined doesn't mean that they are not good at anything. You know, of course, uh, some people had to acquire certain skill through, uh, well, yeah, hmm. I think a lot of people have discipline, you know, but not in every single field. You know, I might be having discipline, really good discipline when it comes to my eating habits. You know, I'm only eating healthy, quite. No, actually, really, I'm only eating healthy. At least as how I'm considering healthy eating. Um, in some other areas as just, I don't know, no fab, I would just really be bad because I'm fapping every single day. So, and in that sense, and I've also been trying to like, you know, wait, just maybe not do that. But in that sense, my discipline is not just really there, you know. So I I think there are some good points. Kind of think that also if we're... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Um, also, if you prefer watching a video over reading, then you might be interested in checking out my YouTube channel. You can find it by clicking on my profile. Take care. I do appreciate that there is no link. I don't really know whether you are allowed to post links there, uh, but it is maybe the Simran Singh or Singh. Uh, the problem that I'm having with this is that it is only renting uh, or ranting. In terms of like, I don't know, we are all really good at just saying what is wrong and what is bad and what is shitty and, and that we're all so bad and we all can learn so so well and we're all so good. Um, I really consciously try to not be like, you know, you have to do this and you have to do that and this and that and these and those. But I, I like to rather um, stick to... I've just noticed something and I'm going to show you then. Um, uh, I like to rather stick to just universal things, maybe aphorisms. Um, of course, they're also just heavily subjective, but I don't like to just put it like, okay, you have to do this, you have to do this, and the world is so bad and stuff like that. Of course, we all have different opinions, but I really try amazingly hard to just see every single fucking perspective there is in every single side of the cube, because there are just a lot of sides, you know? Uh, when it is about discipline, of course you can say like a lot of people are not disciplined, but you know they're still talented. You know even though they're not disciplined, you know but they're still really good at what they're doing. On the other hand, of course there is also going to be a lot of people that are just not talented and not disciplined and are therefore also not very good, quote unquote. Like there is so many sides, and of course putting something together, especially when it is in words, written words, uh, it is very difficult to uh, also actually very. Um, difficult in the sense of it's a lot of work to think about every single perspective there is, but I think this, I think it's very important. Sometimes it's difficult also for me in, in spoken voice or spoken words to communicate that. Um, but I, I, I think, as I said, the third time now <laughs> that it is really important. I'm controlling competitive, what I'm controlling competitive and argumentative. How do I let go? I think it's not necessarily something bad, but I do assume, and I'm not going to read it, that, that this person is overdoing it. And and I don't know. Like, in, in some fields, I truly am also competitive and probably also or, or, uh, argumentative. But in some, in some other fields where I just don't know that I'm not good at, I'm really not competitive. You know, when it comes to just playing tennis, and I'm just really unable to play tennis, I'm really not good. I have been only playing once in my lifetime. I'm not going to be uh, that competitive, you know, because I'm not really expecting a lot from me, you know. Of course, if I kind of get the hang and get better, then I'm going to start getting competitive. But but I don't know. Like, I think everyone has a field of uh, in their life or a field of a thing in their life um, where they are just like, okay, I'm doing this because it is fun. I'm just doing it because I want to try it out. And I'm not really, comp of course, I want to get better, but I, but it's not like, you know, I'm going to die for this shit or something. If you just know what I'm referring to. I was productive today. Today has been one of my most productive days this summer and I only woke up three hours ago. 
I got two things off my list that have been bothering me for weeks. This is, by the way, a good thing. If you're having enough time, just do things that, that you know is going to be a good thing for you tomorrow or something, if this makes sense. I guess it does. Can you change your personality? I think you can, but it's going to be a long, long, long process because it also took a very long time till you got this person you are at this point of time. It really took a long time. Not going to lie. Really a long time. Believe in yourself. Yes, please do. What's the recipe for a joyful life? <sighs> this is always very difficult to say. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to read it and I'm going to talk about it. Sleep six to eight hours a day. Eat healthy. Live in the present moment. No, but yes, but also no. Reduce stress. Yes, but also no. Do exercise. Yes, but also no to some degree. Give without expecting nothing in return or anything in return, actually. Get out of your comfort zone, surround yourself with quality people, dream big and visualize, get advice from experienced people. Um, remember, things are possible if you believe you can make things happen. If you have a meaningful purpose, motivation, plan of action, right guidance and execution, you will be on the right path to achieve your goals. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, get enough sleep, eat healthy, do exercise, not every single day, unless you can, unless uh, you just don't, work out that intensely and or you're having a specific split then you can do that i think at my point of view i'm not a just doctor i'm just not very very knowledgeable but i just speak out of experience uh, for me exercising every single day has not been working up to this point i actually have been trying but i've just you know i've got to a point where i had to say like well i think there has to be a rest day and um Get out of your comfort zone, yes, but of course you also need to rest and therefore stay in your comfort zone. Um, given without expectation, like, yes, it's a good thing. It's very hard to do, I think. Then the thing that I don't really, really like is living in the present moment. I do understand the whole thing, but I also have to say that just going long term and thinking long term is one of the best things you can be doing. No, I'm not gonna just watch youtube videos right now but i'm gonna do this other shit because i know that in two hours i'm gonna be happy about that because then i can rest and enjoy the rest of my day and there's nothing to think about anymore for example and this is exactly the thing that i've been referring to just before like uh seeing every single side of the queue and seeing just all the different perspectives is important i still believe but it's very difficult and i just also don't like to be like uh, yeah you know i just have figured it out everything and whatnot i haven't I don't know shit. I really don't. Uh, I've been two months self-harm free, which is amazing. Uh, he's still a part of you even when you don't remember. Ask yourself what we would want for you. This is uh, amazing. I appreciate that. And self-harming is bullshit. Uh, to some degree, I've actually also been doing this. I've just recently found some, um, some pictures of my knuckles. Um, and I've been, you know, I, I don't actually know why. I've been really feeling not that good, obviously, but I've been just rubbing my hand against the wall. And, you know, if your wall is not really smooth, which is going to be the case, then, you know, it's rubbing off the skin and some of the flesh of your knuckles and stuff. Uh, a little bit hurtful. Uh, not that much. You know, it just compared to cutting it is nothing. But still, uh, these periods of time are going to pass. If they don't, or ju just get professional help. This is my point. Get professional help. This is why we're having it, period, fucking period. The secret of flow, yes, you know, you know, by the way, this is also a problem that I'm seeing. Um, yeah, you know, uh, constantly repeating the same things like negative thinking, positive thinking, flow state, productivity. Uh, everyone seems to have it figured out and everyone seems to be the king at everything. And, and yeah, I know I, I just appreciate that. People try to maybe help other people or it is just a selfish act. Could also be the case. I don't know. Um, nevertheless, 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 yeah, no, never, nevertheless. Uh, yes, I think we have all got it. Uh, there's something else that kind of seems to be interesting. Beware the hustle, beware the grind. Do you want to work on your own, but it just feels draining and monotonous, never ending almost? Do you like to think critically but find school and sometimes life pointless? Have you attempted to improve your life, uh, your lifetime after time, 
just for it all to fall through. Does moving forward feel what? Yeah, I get the point. What's the plot? A few months ago, I know it's way too long. And this again, like, you know, I have figured it out. Like, I get it, you know, people want to have a cool article there. Um, but I think it just really, it, it really boils down to how you're communicating it. You know, you can't just communicate it in a very douchey way. But I think you can also communicate it in a very a nice way and a very generous way. Like, I don't know. Instead of just being like, well, are you this? Are you that? Which is very advertisement style. Uh, you could be like, well, um, I don't know. Just I think that I figured out something and I just wanted to share because I think that maybe some people can contribute off of that. I don't really know, but but I think and it, it, it might help, which is something completely different. It's not like I have figured out the whole world and I've built it, but it is like, well, I think I've seen something. I'm not quite sure of it. Maybe you can help me to to maybe understand that better as well, which is also something great to communicate. Yeah. And this is something that I just heavily try to do because I haven't figured it out. Nothing. Quite nothing. Some things I'm having a very uh, concrete opinion about. And this is something that I just have to admit. But I don't know. I'm just... I think that I'm... That I'm intelligent I'm, I'm definitely not the smartest guy on the world really not unfortunately not uh well even just maybe fortunately i am not the smartest because maybe i would be just a completely different and fucked up person i don't know i can't accomplish anything how can i change i do wonder what people say have a plan i work on it well uh, try to be conscious of the fact that you are making small improvements every time you work towards your goal. And if not an improvement, you are at least getting more experience under your belt. Dopamine fast could help if you can't focus because of distractions. Um, yeah, I do think that, yes, just doing it. Um, a plan is always good, makes always sense. Yeah. Um, I, 31 male, want to exercise my childhood traumas and adopt hires that will make me proud to be me. Um, uh, therapy. I'm not quite in a position to start therapy, but I've been trying to research my situation. I don't really, uh, I don't recall any sexual abuse, but there has been much physical abuse. Uh, I still think therapy is good because it is there, because it is available. Of course, it can be expensive and stuff, uh, but please try to do it please maybe there is some things some money that you can get from the government uh it depends of obviously of or on the country that you're living in and all sorts of things i know in austria and i think in europe in general we are we are very um blessed that um that we are a very social um community also in terms of governments and there is a lot of ways to get refunded quite a lot of money and it, it really is costly, like, I'm not gonna lie, it just costs a lot to be in therapy, as I've heard, I don't know, I'm not sure, I haven't been in therapy, only physical therapy, uh, but not mental therapy, um, but this is also very expensive, as I remember. Anyway, I wish you the best, I really hope that I've been able to just share some things that, that, that maybe help you to some degree, or just uh, were at least interesting, and yeah. Anyway, I wish you the best health of happiness and also success and also hope that you're going to remind yourself and you're going to be remembered, which basically means, uh, yes, being a nice person and also being remembered as such a nice person. Three other questions that I have for you are, why are you here? What are you trying to change and what is bothering you the most? These three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea, which is a fucking cool thing. Anyway, um, another question that I have for you is, what could you do? What could you say? I know, underlined 700 times. What could you say? What could you do? What could you make? That is really going to make somebody's day, life, whatever. What could you do? Think about it. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I'm hopefully going to see you the next time. Bye bye. And thank you very much. Please stay healthy. I hope you're healthy. And, and I'll see you.